Brought to you by XMWX Satellite Weather. Full perspective on any compatible device you choose. And by Avidyne. Now you have a choice. And the choice is easy. Avidyne. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from NBAA 2012. I'm in the uh, Citation CJ with uh, Brian Willett of uh, Tamarack Aerospace. He's demonstrating for me Tamarack's new uh, active winglets. Now, two weeks ago we explained in our AOPA coverage uh, an active winglet uh, installation on a Cirrus. What active winglets do is they have a deployment device that defeats the, uh, the winglet's effect to relieve overloading on the wing. Um, and that's done electronically through G and load sensing. Now, Brian, you've demonstrated for me here how the uh, winglet um, works. And in a steep turn, we see the flap come up and, and, and defeat, the purpose, uh, defeat the effect of the winglet. Let's talk a little bit about the pretty impressive effect that has on climb uh, rage. Your initial testing is showing what? Well, we were able to cut uh, time to climb at max gross weight for this model of airplane by around 30%. And that's before we've had a chance to really optimize both the toe in and toe out on the winglets itself. So we're very pleased with those numbers. They meet closely what would be expected, and we expect to be able to improve those as we go through the development process. Now, uh, that also has uh, implications for cruise speed. Absolutely. Well, because I've got an extra, more effective wing out there, and plus i got four extra feet of wing, I should be able to cruise at a lower angle of attack, lower angle of attack, less drag. I'll probably set the same fuel flows, but what is going to happen, uh, we believe, is to see what most jets see at the higher altitudes, a 4 to 7 percent improvement in uh, fuel economy, which is fuel per nautical mile. And uh, that's going to have some implications for range as well. Absolutely. Uh, we compared this with the CJ-2, and, and for a typical load of, let's say, four guys and bags going from San Francisco down to Palm Springs, this airplane, a standard airplane, OEM airplane, wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, have to do a fuel stop. With winglets, now you can do it non-stop. So not only do you get the economies of the fuel savings, but you're also saving yourself in cycles, engine cycles, gear cycles. So, you know, it'll take a little while, but we expect uh, your payoff, your ROI uh, for an installation like this uh, in a few years. Now, we came out of Orlando Executive. It was pretty turbulent, uh, and you had me uh, look at the winglets, and sure enough, the, the Flap with, and what's the, give us the terminology on that flap? Tamarack Active Control Surface, or tax. 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 So the taxes were coming up on both sides very quickly and then uh, going back into trail to bring the winglet back on the line. And it's designed to do that to, re to relieve overloading on the wing. Absolutely. And it, you saw it's very transparent to us. You said, oh, it's just a little turbulence. And they were out there just doing their job automatically. Uh, how about any effect on uh, perceived control forces? Because we've got a bigger wing out there, I've, I've noticed a little bit heavier in roll, but uh, you know, only because I'm being very conscious about comparing them between the two. I, I think most pilots would, uh, wouldn't even notice it. And of course, a big part of our testing is to go through and make sure it's safe if, if it, for some reason, goes to a, an asymmetric or a full up or full down. Uh, we have done flight tests and demonstrated that, yes, you still have full control of the airplane. And when do you expect the testing to be done and the product to be available? Uh, we're looking at uh, the end of next year. I mean, these, these are pretty involved projects. Um, we just got picked up by the FAA uh, out of project sequencing. That took about seven months of waiting before the FAA said, OK, we have the resources to do the project. And uh, our very first meeting with them is on the 14th of this month. Well, thanks for the briefing, Brian. All right. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from NBAA 2012. Thanks for watching.